I want to share a thought with you today and uh, it's about how Jesus approached the problems and sins of others. Just a very, very, very few times he pointed out personally a sin and he did it in a very quiet, soft and uh, comprehensive way. Uh, when the people was at, were attacking him, he spoke to the group. You did that, you did that, that other thing. That, he, he addressed the Phariseans, the Sadduceans, but not a person. But this was also just a few times. And uh, when uh, he met the woman at the Jacob's well, he asked, where is your, where is your husband? And she said, no, I have no husband. And he said, you said, well, because voila, the, the, the person that you have now, that you are with now is not your husband. But he didn't say you are a four-letter word, a prostitute, an adulterer, woman, uh, you know. He didn't say that. He approached that person to affect. But it was between her and him where no one else was around. And also when the woman that was caught in adultery, and it have to be seen how, Jesus wrote on the sand and he wrote the sins of those who were ready to stone that woman. Um, but he did it on the sand so the, the, whatever he wrote, it could be deleted, so, uh, uh, that no one could read it. And he, it was between the person that was standing in front of him and himself. And then at the end, you see there is no register of what he wrote. This is interesting. The, the point of Jesus was not pointing out the sins, but to forgive. So my, my goal today is go out and try to avoid this behavior that we have the tendency to do. And it's to criticize people, especially when they are not present, when they are not with us. And try to see and seek and comment the defaults of others. I would rather try to, 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 to focus on godly invitations to forgiveness, to love and to give new opportunities. It is not easy, it is not easy, but I'm gonna try, try hard today, I promise.